Well, Cheryl, the jury definitely did not rush to a verdict in this case. They deliberated for around six hours before finally finding Frankie Gebhardt guilty of murdering Timothy Coggins back in 1983. Now, the reason this case stayed out of a courtroom for nearly 35 years is because of a lack of evidence. But last year, investigators had new evidence in hand, and they finally charged Frankie Gebhardt and another man, Bill Moore Sr., with this murder. And uh, Frankie Gebhardt's trial could then begin. Now, Frankie Gebhardt in the courtroom today, he sat silent. He was emotionless as the verdict was read by the judge. The judge read that verdict, finding Gebhardt guilty of malice murder, felony murder, aggravated battery, aggravated assault, and concealing the death of another. The prosecution during the trial admitted there was some uh, hardships here they had to overcome over the past 34 years. Key pieces of evidence went missing. They also put witness after witness on the stand who is currently serving prison time, but talked with Gebhardt over the years about the murder. And in those conversations, those witnesses say the defendant said he killed Coggins. The defense tried to say the Missing evidence and questionable witnesses put too many holes in this case to find Gebhardt guilty. Here's the district attorney, though, talking after today's guilty verdict. Hardest case I've ever had. Um, yeah, we knew going into it that evidence was missing and that um, our characters had, or our witnesses had colorful past. Um, we took that head on, we owned it, and um, I think the outcome of the case speaks volumes about not only this community, but law enforcement in this community and um, the fact that times are changing and times can change. And after reading the verdict, the judge sentenced Gebhardt to life in prison plus an additional 30 years. We did ask Frankie Gebhardt's attorneys and family if they wished to comment about the verdict, but they declined those requests. I did talk with the family of Timothy Coggins. His niece told me they assumed this case was going to be a cold case forever, that Spalding County had forgotten about Timothy Coggins. They told me tonight they just feel an overwhelming sense of relief. In Spalding County, I'm Joe Henke, 11 Alive News. All right.